Hey guys, what's going on? This is always back with the second part of our project tutorial. So in the last tutorial, I made a 3D plan and a 3D model of the house. So this is the second part. So in this tutorial, what I'm going to do is discussing cameras, lights, materials, and render of a final project. So I've got my 3D model in AutoCAD right now, as you can see that. First of all, we will discuss about some visualization tab. So I've got my views, coordinates, model viewports, real slide lights, sun and location, materials, animation and cameras and rendering alright so we have available everything whatever you need in this tutorial so the first of all what I'm going to do I'm going to change this to wireframe and I'm gonna to go to my top view by clicking here and let's get rid of this stuff first alright so now first thing what we're going to do you need to create a camera so I've got my camera panel here on my visualization tab so here you got two kinds of camera create camera camera display right so I'm gonna create a camera so I'm gonna click on it and I'm just going to drop my camera somewhere here and then you will move your cursor to your object so I'm gonna click here and now our camera is done so on a command line we got the option I can name this camera location height target lens so I'm gonna click on lens so right now this lens is 50 mm right so I can change the value to about let's say 40 mm so now I've done that I'm gonna press spacebar one time to apply that camera to look at the view in camera just select that camera and then there will a window pop up which will show you what are you watching in the camera so to change that I'm gonna close that first and I'm going to change my viewport to SW isometric and then I'm gonna select my camera and I can move my camera right so I'm gonna grab this axis and I'm just gonna move up Y axis I'm just gonna move a little bit backwards that's fine and then I'm gonna select this vertex and I'm just going to drop that somewhere somewhere here right all right so our camera is set up now and let's go look at our camera so go to your views click on this camera which will show you the camera view so I'm gonna change that to shaded Alright, so this is what we have. I'm going to show you a quick toolbar here on the right. So we've got this full navigation wheel, you've got this orbit, you've got pan, you've got zoom commands here. So I'm going to click on this mouse wheel. Once I click on it, as you can see, this mouse will follow my cursor. So I'm going to select orbit, you click and hold to apply that command. So I'm going to just orbit that, right? I'm going to leave my mouse button and then I'm going to click on pan and hold. I'm just gonna drag it a little bit down right and let's say we can orbit this about here so this is basically going to be our camera view now so now I'm gonna apply quick render so look at what we get here so this is going to be a quick render all right it seems fine press escape to cancel the render because it takes long to finish the rendering Okay, so now I've got shown you this toolbar and showing you how to create a camera. We have our material panel here in a visualization tab. So we got our material browser here. I've got my material texture and all that stuff. I've got my mapping here for the materials. If you click on this arrow button, you get a few more options. You can remove material, apply by layer, copy mapping coordinates, reset mapping coordinates, right? So let's go to material browser first so you get this dialog box right so I'm gonna click on Autodesk library first and I'm gonna just expand that a little bit yep all right so now we have all the materials available in AutoCAD available here in the material browser so click on this Autodesk library which will take you to your all right so if you click on this arrow button you get the category of your materials available in AutoCAD so first of all I'm going to change material for the wall so let's try wall paint and let's try maybe that color right so I'm gonna double click on it which will give me another dollar box and here I've got the properties of that material so if you click on information this is telling you name description and keywords for that so I'm gonna go back to appearance I can't edit that right now because it's not available in our document material yet so to edit any kind of material available in your browser you need to drag that and drop that to your document material so we got that right there i'm going to get rid of it by right clicking and delete 
so I need that white material right so there's few ways you can apply that material you can apply that by layer so if you go to your attach by layer command which will give another dollar boss you got all the layers available here you can just drag that material and apply there so that's another way but we will try applying a different way I'm gonna select my ball and I'm gonna right click on it and there's an option assign to selection so I'm gonna click on assign to selection and let's change our view, view style to realistic okay so we got that <music> on my drawing now so now we're gonna apply a garage material so let's go to our material browser and I'm going to duplicate any of the material up available in my material so I'm gonna right click and duplicate that I'm gonna name it garage alright and I'm gonna double click it to edit that material so you can see that I've got this image here I'm gonna click on this image this will give me another dialog box and I've got the image source here so I'm gonna click on it and I'm going to select a garage gate material instead of that one alright so now I'm gonna yep and now select that right click add to selection so we got that so now I'm gonna apply some mapping to it so I'm gonna select that and I'm going to click on this mapping option and I click on the box so now I can change that material so I'm gonna drag that vertex I'm just gonna drag that <music> So let's have a look now so we got that just drag that a little bit more to the top so you can fix it all right so done and I'm gonna go back to my material browser and I'm gonna press spacebar to accept that all right so now we got the garage material done right looks pretty cool right all right so you can do the same thing with the door <music> apply a few more materials so I've got this alcohol layer for my grill so let's find out some metallic material so I'm gonna go to metal and let's find out something right that gold stuff is fine I like that so I'm just gonna drag that there so we got that gold named is material so I'm gonna rename that let's say metal And then it's I'm gonna apply that by layer. So I'm gonna select that, attach by layer, and that's what we have metal there. So I've got L column layer somewhere here. So I'm gonna drag that, just gonna drop it there. So I'm gonna apply, and as you can see, we got that metal thing there, all right? So let's apply some grass and tiling here. So I'm gonna select some kind of grass. So I can search for that. So grass, 
so this is what we have grass there I'm just gonna drag that and let's apply that grass material I'm gonna select this my grass flow and let's find out our grass material right click assign to selection that's fine that's done and now what else we have so we have that thing right so this is basically some kind of tiling so I'm gonna select tiled the type tile and food kind yeah that tile is fine so I'm just drag that and I'm going to right click and apply to selection all right so we have the tiling done as well so I can select that I'm gonna map that material by box all right so we can rotate that as well so I'm gonna click on rotation and now I can basically rotate that material so select that vertex Alright, so I'm just gonna rotate that to proper rectangle. Alright, so um, this is fine, now it's fine. Yep, so spacebar to accept that. Alright, so we have properly aligned that. Alright, all right, guys, this is what we have right now. I've applied my materials and there's kind of bug in my AutoCAD software, I'm not sure what's going on. So that's why I wouldn't be able to discuss lighting and shadow features in this tutorial. But I'm gonna quickly show you that what does that do. So if you click on this arrow button, you can create lights, point, spotlight, distance, web light, and you can apply your shadows, ground, full shadows, whatever you want to do. You got sun options here. If you click on this arrow button, you get to choose the location, time, and date, all that stuff. And here you got sky and background illusion stuff. Okay, so these few of these options are like really nice when you want to render a manual. Um, preview of your project but there's another way you can do that what I'm going to show you in this tutorial so if you click on this arrow button you get the sizes of your um, rendered image so I'll be selecting that 1920 by 860 pixels and I'm gonna click on this arrow button and I'm gonna click on render environment exposure this is the base main stuff that what it does for us is automatically detects the scene and adjust our lighting effects for us so I'm gonna turn it on Let's try a different kind of um, lighting. So I'm gonna, let's say soft light, right? Click on render. And now what we have here. Okay, this is much better because I can take my drawing to Photoshop and edit the stuff. It needs a little bit of more lighting. So I'm gonna apply exposure about five. And let's see what how much lighting do we need now. Yep, that's better now. Alright, so I'm gonna let it render and once it's done and then I'll show you guys alright. Alright guys, this is our final view now. Third part will be coming out soon where I will take this um, final view to Photoshop and add some details to my drawing. So you can save that by clicking here and you can save that as a bitmap, PNG, a JPEG, whatever you wanna do. So I'm gonna save that to let's say JPEG file on my desktop and I'm gonna save it and the quality should be 100 i'm gonna click ok and this is going to save that file all right all right guys thanks for watching if there's any question let me know and the third part will be coming up within a week all right subscribe to the channel and i'll talk to you guys in the next video